Hey, you got me so defeated. I can't adjust this feeling no long. Uh, wait, I'm staring at the ceiling. Rather do this and be on my phone. You put the beat in my heart. The hey everyone, just landed in Sydney and I just checked into my hotel room. This hotel is A by Adina. It's right across from the hotel I stayed at last time, Little National Hotel. And it's pretty much the same price, like 300-ish a night. And let me just give you a tour of this place. It blows Little National out of the water. Like, this place is so sick. So you come in here, there's a little kitchenette, like a little sink, mini bar and stuff. And then place to put your luggage. And look how big the room is. Look at that long sofa. It is so incredibly dope. Huge bed. Like this area feels way more spacious than Little National, like way more spacious. When I walked in, like the curtains automatically open for you, which is a very nice touch. Not much of a view, it's just an office, but yeah. The couch is so vibey. And then the bathroom, take a look at this. Pretty, pretty big bathroom. Not really much bigger than the one at Little National, but look at that marble and that like skylight, that artificial skylight. So dope, so freaking dope. This time, I am here for a concert, but I'm not actually going to the concert, but a bunch of my friends are, so I'm just here to party with them and yeah, catch up with a few other friends. So keen to take you around my last Sydney vlog for the year, I promise. Yeah, very excited to be here. It's forecasted to rain a little bit, but hopefully everything is good and pans out smoothly. Hey everyone, we just went out last night with the gals. And I am, um, I'm not that hungover, but I feel like my skin's pretty red. We're at Edition Roasters, get in brunch, and then uh, see where the day takes us, you know? All right, fit check. I just bought this jacket. It's like a khaki color from Ray. Got the Uniqlo Aries and T. This pearl necklace from AliExpress. The, the pleats. <laughs> and then CBs. Dude, I feel like I'm still fucking drunk, man. That was the fucking tag, bro. Sheesh. And I got this. What do I do? I got two. I got a Oh my god, this is so sour. This watermelon juice was so sour. Like, why? Right? It's probably got lemon in it. Sam's hitting me. James is trying to use banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> How would you write this cafe? Cafe? Okay, okay, from what like a seven. The portions are kind of small. Shots. Have it, have it. I roasted it shortstop a last time, so let's have a look. Ooh, it is quite sweet. I just had this, so like, it's not like as sweet. It's There's right. no matcha taste. It's like a matcha aftertaste. <laughs> There's no matcha taste? There's no matcha taste. Oh, yeah. mm. So you're rating that an 8, yeah? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's an 8. It's just so sweet. Oh. Okay, no. Okay. Disappointing. Two out of ten. Alrighty, we're at Callum's hotel. He reckons he has like his room is twice as big as mine, so we're about to, we're about to see that. Nice. Oh shit, this is pretty big. Take it back, boys. Shit's fucking messy though. Alright guys, we're gonna prank Dan. He's in the shower right now. The lock is like one of those ones where you can open it up with like a key card. It's like a little little notch in the door. We're gonna open it up and fucking prank his ass. We're gonna pretend like we're... What should we do? Pretend we're like very cold. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 
tried, man. Mission failed. <laughs> Mission fucking failed. <laughs> <laughs> So much shallots and ginger, bro. Yeah. Disgusting. Try the beef. This is good. I just got this earring in my ear. I'm not really feeling it, not gonna lie. We got another vlogger in the house. What's happening? No, it was working before. <laughs> It's hard to use, man. <laughs> Bro, what? Don't, don't you reckon those things are fucking hard to use? That's why they're easy. What? Is this yours? Joking around harder. Not true. I was inspired by someone on YouTube called James Exhale. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of him. It's pretty low key at the moment. All right, everyone, we're going thrifting today at West End. There's this like pop up market every like once a month, right? Yeah. Yeah, every once a month. So hopefully we find some drip. Yeah, I haven't been thrifting in like ages or like ever really. So yeah, keen for that. Before we head, we're gonna do a quick fit check of the lads. Daniel, what, what are we wearing? Actually, top down or bottom up? Top down. These chip chimneys. Pam. Bro, I think you wore that last week, man. You're actually rinsing that shirt. Yeah, bro. I'm rinsing it right now. And then, this pair of pants. I don't even know where it's from, actually. It's some like brand, but some brand. good fit. Can't what are you wearing, bro? Got the palache on the dome. Unique Uniqlo women's Parker. Parker. Acne pants. Kmart socks. Got this thrifted Nike vintage tee. Got these fucking Issy Miyake shorts. And yeah, some socks. That's Wait, is that a calm stand, bro? Oh my god. Yeah, I came all over it, bro. I felt but I can say I doubt it. You look so astounded when I found it. Hey, and keep a space for me. Give you what you need. I'm here on my knees. Baby, please believe all that I know that's a because I saw this, I'm like, this is no. I was like, this is so Callum. Did you actually sell them? Yeah, you sold it. it. How much did you sell for? I can't remember. How much is it on? Hey everyone, we're at Market Square. It's like this local food hall that's near me, maybe like 10 minutes away. There's this new clay pot rice place that opened up and yeah, keen to try it. We came during lunchtime because like whenever I walk past it, it is so busy. So um, hopefully it's worth the wait. I didn't have to wait today. I like just walked straight up, but hopefully it's worth the wait. Cooking rice takes a while. So yeah, it's just like rice in a clay pot, soy sauce and meat. I have it at this other place called Sunny Oriental. It's pretty good. So hopefully, hopefully this place lives up to it as well. It's really tender. 